Welcome to the full training of Windows 10 series. This is Zia Maliki from Information Technology. You are watching the seventh part of the full training of Windows 10 series. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create multiple desktops and how to switch between these virtual desktops in Windows 10. Windows 10 has introduced a new feature called multiple desktops. So instead of only having one desktop that you are looking at right now, we can have multiple desktops. We can have two desktops, three desktops, five desktops, and as many different desktops as we want, each of which will contain their own windows. Let me demonstrate how multiple desktops is gonna change the way you work with Windows 10. Let me launch Microsoft Excel and restore the windows to its normal size so that we can see other windows that I'm going to open in a moment. I will launch Microsoft Word, move it on in here, and let's launch another window. How about File Explorer? If you stay tuned for our next few videos, we are gonna learn more about the File Explorer. Now I have three windows open. I'm gonna open up one more. I will go to my start menu which I have organized for our previous tutorials and I will open up Microsoft PowerPoint as well. Now as you can see it's already becoming very busy and messy. I have got four windows open. Of course, I can minimize them to clean up my desktop, but I also have the ability now to create more desktops. Let's focus on this new button down on the taskbar. I will hover my mouse so you can see it. Let's call the task view. When I click on the task view, it will be the exact same thing as we learned in part 6 of this series. Our task switcher. Holding down the windows key and hitting the tab will take us to the screen. Let me show that to you again. I will hold down the windows key and hit the tab key and it does exactly the same thing as clicking this button right there with your mouse. So the task view brings up a windows for us to be able to switch between my tasks. But that's not what we are here to see. We have already covered this in the previous tutorial. Let's look up here on the upper left corner. There is a button called New Desktop. Let's give it a try. I will tap my Windows Tab key and click on the New Desktop button. And it creates a second desktop for me. Let's do it one more time to create a new desktop three desktops. So by going to my desktop number two, you will see it's blank. How do I switch back to my other desktop? Well, by clicking here on the task view, I can switch back to the desktop number one. By clicking on the task view button, I can switch over to desktop number two and while I'm on desktop number two 
I can launch yet another program. Let's say I want to launch my calendar. Once I launch the calendar, it's now launched on desktop number 2, which is a nice and clean desktop just for the calendars. We can launch the weather application as well, or Microsoft Edge, or any other program on a separate desktop. To switch back to the other desktop, I can simply click on the task view and switch back to the desktop number 1. If you stay tuned for our future tutorials, I'm gonna introduce you to a keystroke that allows us to move between these desktops so that we don't have to click on the task view button or to hold down the windows key and hit tab. You know there is a hot key that will move us between our desktops. We will get to that in our future tutorials. But for now, to create a new desktop, I'll simply click on the task view and then click on the new desktop button. One question that might be rising up in your mind is that, what if I have program running on one desktop and I would like to move it to another desktop? I would like to demonstrate that for you right in this video. So I'm gonna move the PowerPoint program to desktop number 3. So by switching over to desktop 1 and clicking on the task view, I can then grab PowerPoint and drag it over as I'm holding down my left mouse button and I can drop it right there on to desktop number 3. Let's do the same thing with Microsoft Word and move it to desktop number 4. I will grab the Word application and drag it over to desktop number 4. Now, if you like a free environment, then that's for you. Desktop number 1 has Excel and File Explorer. Desktop number 2 has got the calendar open. Desktop number 3 has my PowerPoint program running. And desktop number 4, I have Microsoft Word running. Three desktops make it easier for me to work on separate projects and programs simultaneously without any confusion and without any mess. All tab is what we learned in the previous tutorial, moves us between applications. Windows tab brings up the task view, which is the same as clicking on the task view button on the lower portion of our screen. Creating new desktop is as easy as clicking on the new desktop button while we are in the task view window. And then finally moving programs from one desktop to another is as easy as grabbing the program while in task view and dragging it to another desktop. Well, I'm gonna ask you to pause the video now Go try it yourself. You should practice three things. Use the task switcher, Windows tab, use the new task view button down here at the bottom of the screen. Create a desktop and move applications between desktops. And remember, I'm gonna show you some keyboard shortcuts that will make it much more easier for us. So stay tuned 
for the next tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tutorials. This is Yamaliki signing off.